Hi everyone, Matt here from MRKWP. With your WooCommerce website, do you want to hide products maybe from your major catalog view? What happens if you only want them to appear in search or you don't want them to appear at all? Why would you do that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how, why, and what we've done on this website. Let's jump on in and I'll take you through it. The first scenario is when we have a composite product and some of those parts of that product, we wanna hide them. So in this case, it's a pilot kit builder for Advanced Global. And some of the parts inside of here can only be bought as part of the kit, but they do need individual SKUs to be able to be part of that kit. So what do we do? Let's take a look at our catalog view now. And you can see here that I've got five items. It shouldn't show that, it should only show three. And I don't even want these to appear in search. So let's go in and we'll do the quick edit first and then we'll also do the full page edit so I can show you in both places where these appear. Okay, so we're gonna hide the motorized sign frame and manual sign frame. These are part of the build your own pilot kit with this first option. And you can't buy them on their own, they're part of a kit. So they do have an SKU, they're connected up to stock monitoring, all those sorts of things, but we need to be able to manage it. So if we go into the back end and go to products or products and I've done a filter via the pilot vehicle signs, which is the same category page that we have here. And we're going to take a look at these individual items. Um, so let's take a look at the motorized sign frame and I can go to quick edit and down here under visibility, I have catalog and search. That's where this item visibility is. So unlike the status of a post normally up here underneath the enable reviewed where it says, you know, this is the status, we instead want to do the, um, the item under visibility. So if I click the drop down here and go to hidden like so and click update, that will now hide that product from the catalog. So I refresh here and the motorized sign frame is now gone. However, when I'm over here and I refresh this particular one with the build your own pilot kit, because this is a composite product, the motorized sign frame option is still there. Now, if I searched for that and did motorized sign, you'll see that you don't actually get that. You still get the pilot kit motorized with LED beacons. So you get the whole kit, you don't get the individual product anymore. So that's exactly what we want. We want it hidden from everywhere. Now, when you're editing an individual product as well, so let's do that with the manual sign frame because this is under the same thing. So now let's go edit on there. And now that that's open up over on this side with the publish panel here, we have the catalog visibility there as well. So if I click edit, I can say hidden and go, okay and say update. When I refresh this catalog page again, now the manual sign will also disappear when that refreshes. And of course, as before, it's still available within the composite page builder. There's also a scenario where you may want something to appear in search, but you don't want it to appear on a listing page. All right, this is when you might have like a product that you're not promoting anymore, an old product or something like that. So it's on back order, not showing up for a long time, but you don't want to lose the search engine page, but you don't want it to appear on the landing page either. In this case, you would set it to search only. Okay, so that gives us the hide and search default behavior within WooCommerce, which all works great. There's also a couple of other options that you may want to consider when it comes to your SEO. And these are canonical links and no index links. So if you have a page and that product is part of another product, you could actually put a canonical link on that product because these pages that we just set these settings on, they're still inside the sitemap. So in this case for the frames, I'm gonna put a canonical link on these items. And that means when Google crawler comes along and eats these pages, it says, hey, this page actually belongs to another page. And that stops it showing up in the Google search. The other one is to say no index at all. You can use this for hidden pages, like for example, your checkout page. You don't need the checkout page to show up in Google search. Let's jump on in and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we've got the URL up the top here that we're gonna use for our canonical link. And we know that we had our manual sign and motorized sign frames. Um, we're gonna edit those. So I've opened up the manual sign frame and what we wanna be able to do is scroll down. So let me hide a couple of things here and we're just gonna go to the Yoast SEO premium area. You can find the same settings in Rank Math or Yoast SEO free. And we're gonna go into the advanced section here and it says allow search engines to show this product in search results. We're gonna actually change that to no. Now the next one is should search engines follow links on this product? We're gonna say yes, we do want that. Um, under here, the Meta Robox Advanced, we're gonna just leave that. We could say no archive or no snippet. Then the final one is the canonical URL. So we're gonna put that in there, but this is pretty good. So this will 
look at this page in the index, so I'm not gonna index you anymore. Secondly, I want search engines to follow the links on the product page. So if a search engine crawler does find it, follow the links. We want robots to not archive this page. So although you follow the links, don't take that back and put it inside your archive. And finally, for any weight that's on that page for search results, put this towards the other product that we have. In this case, it's our composite product that this other product is one part of. So that's the way that that works. Well, I hope you liked that video, everyone. And I know you're liking these quick tips from WooCommerce. So give me a thumbs up if you like. It. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and leave a comment below if you have a suggestion for some other sort of video that you want to see around WooCommerce, WordPress or WordPress development. And I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.